Hi, my name is Jan Rain. I'm a 700 block of Kensington. I also receive water in my basement. And one of the things I want to ask um, the Public Works Department, I know during the throes of the storm, there was a lot of water coming out of the country club. And, you know, I'd rather, and it was just going right down 50th, and see right on the spring and all of our blocks. And I think it would be a lot better if we could get the drainage at the country club versus draining onto our streets and flooding our basements. So I'm not sure, if, I, I don't know, I'd like you guys to look at how this water is flowing and how it's coming out of certain areas because it seems to be, I was talking to a public works guy today and he was saying that it was like a river coming out of the country club. It was coming right down our street. And I think that just asks the problems when our catch bases are catching all, all the rain and is there something that can be done there? Sure, that, I think that's something that we'll, we'll need to take a look into um, as part of the process of evaluating the different issues that have been raised. And the other thing to add to that, uh, Madam President, and again, we'll go into some of this detail at the public information meeting, but 51st Street is our uh, major uh, drainage basin for residents south of 47th Street, uh, all the way from uh, Will Springs Road to East Avenue. Um, so the, the drainage line, the, old, the old, uh, overland drainage line that occurs through um, through the country club uh, really services the stormwater flow for residents uh, in the hospital neighborhood. So that's really water coming from residents in that neighborhood through the um, uh, 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 through the country club and then down 51st Street. Um, and that's and again we'll go into more details at the uh, at the presentation. But that's how the drainage basin for your particular neighborhood is, is designed to operate. Well, I got to tell you, it wasn't in 51st, it was in 50th, and it was coming down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Bridget Wicklander. I live at 140 Sunset, uh, which is the corner of Sunset and Elm. And I've had meetings before with Mike Boyer and with Brian from Public Works, so they're very familiar with our problem. If you want to go stand in my corner, you see where four streets, or from four different directions, there is a huge dip uh, at my corner at Sunset and Elm. This last rain event, Two cars were stranded in there, and one car, a woman was trapped in a car. She couldn't even get out because the doors didn't open. So this is a continuing problem. I've lived in my house 31 years. When we moved in in 1979, someone said to me, welcome to Lake Sunset. And I said, what do you mean by that? They said, oh, you'll find out. And I have found out. I've had three events, rain events, where I had nine inches in my basement. Uh, these last two rain events, the one that happened Friday and the one that happened on June 23rd, I've had between one and two inches. Every one of my corner gets water during every rain event. And whenever we call, they say, oh, everywhere in the range was flooded. Our corner is the worst. It is the worst. And everyone knows that it's the worst. And anyone who's lived in the range for any length of time makes jokes about how horrible our corner is. And my question is, why don't they just do something about it? Why don't they elevate the street so we don't have a lake in our corner every rain event? And I know rain is, is, has been hard, especially in the last few weeks, but one house from my corner, if you're just one house off of the corner, you don't have water. So why do we get hit every single time it rains? And why doesn't the village fix it? Well, I'm, I'm sure that, that it's now on Mr. Gillingham's list of, of issues to consider and to continue to look at as we evaluate. But it has been, events. because we met with him in February of 09, I think, when there was an unusual rain in the winter, and we had a meeting at the Public Works. And I know there was work that went on last summer. I think it had something to do with the restrictors. I don't know. But we continue to get hit. We are never spared during any rain event. So if anyone here gets hit like once every 10 times, we get hit every time. And why is our corner so low? That's my other question. Why does it dip there from four different directions? And why don't they send that water somewhere else? There are empty fields on Cossett, uh, near Cossett Sunset. Why don't they send the water there? Instead, it ends up on our corner and then ultimately in our basement. Um, Madam President, what we, what we could do is uh, we're making lists of, of comments that are made. Uh, we can give a general response and something more detailed and site specific. Uh, we'll attempt to address at the uh, next, uh, not the next bill's working, but the meeting of which. How will we know about that? I think that you just say it'll be in a yeah. paper. What if I don't read the local paper? I don't read the local paper. Um, 
Well, I don't watch the channel that broadcasts this, so how do oh, I know? Website. How about the Village of LaGrange website? Do you use a computer at all? Yes. If you would hook up to www.villageoflagrange.com. Okay, this meeting wasn't on that website today, by the way. Uh, I can't, if it wasn't, I was surprised. told by my neighbor there was nothing about discussing floods at tonight's meeting. Oh, the issue of discussing floods was not identified on our agenda. Our agenda is actually posted on the Friday before a meeting. Is that Thursday or Friday? Thursday, uh, late Thursday. Thursday afternoon before a meeting. Um, the event obviously occurred over the weekend. So, so we I have to just check the website the from time to time? The website has a function that if, I can't remember what the, what you check now, to sign up, notify me, notify me. Um, and if you give your email address to that site, sign up under notify me, you will get uh, an email blast which will provide information with respect to meetings and all kinds of different information that the village feels that is important to share with residents. And so we'll you'll get a notice directly. Will we'll address present. the issue of my specific corner, uh, which is a problem every ring event? You mean at the next meeting? Yes. Well, I think you're, you, your commentary has certainly been identified now as an issue for our Public Works Department to look at. Um, and, and one of two things can happen, discuss that in the public meeting or have further discussions directly with uh, Director Gillingham or a member of the Public Works Department. Well, they're very well aware. They've been there when this has been going on. So, Mayor President, can I make a suggestion? Can we just pass, uh, pass on a sheet for everybody to sign up and we can just contact them directly when we have next meeting? They haven't put their email addresses down and that be appropriate. Um, I'm sure we can do that. There's probably a, a bunch of other people that would like to participate with us that weren't at the meeting tonight, though. So, um, well, if we get contacted, we can let people know. Yeah, you know, it, it would we be, also have the village spokesman at our disposal. Uh, that's a, that's a good point yeah. too, Jim. We we have a, a the village newsletter called the Village Spokesman, and we'll identify it in that as well. Hopefully, time time wise, that will give everyone ample opportunity to share with us. Please, I'm Peggy Hagen, the 700 block of South Kensington. I just want to reinforce a point that I'm hearing here over and over again. It seems like there are specific areas of the village that are bearing the burden of the water for the whole village area. And I feel like I'm hearing that these have been brought up over and over and over again, and there hasn't been any response. It really isn't right for Kensington Spring Loyola to bear the burden of all the water from the Grange Hospital all the way down. I just think it's time that someone redesign this system and really do something about it this time. I, I feel I've called over and over again. You get these responses, I, and I'll tell you, it is different now. These last two rains, I just feel it's getting worse. It might be those restrictive systems. I'm curious when they were put into effect, because the June rain and this July rain, both of them, the water wasn't swirling down to the street sources. And that's the first time I saw, really in 10 years, the street so flooded. And to me, it's getting worse. Well, that street flooding is a direct result of the addition of restrictors. Again, the theory being, no, in the late 90s? Uh, yes, actually, yeah. with, the, with each uh, street reconstruction or street resurfacing project. Now, again, how widespread is it at every corner, every inlet, or at strategic locations? Don't know, we're not prepared to, you know, we don't know off the top of our head what that level of detail is. That's why we'd like to have prepare for a public information meeting so we can be as uh, inform informative as possible. Well, I lived here in the 90s, and it wasn't happening. It's happening much more frequently now. Something is different. I guess I want you to hear that, and I would really like you to hear that we need something done this time. Thank you. Thank you. We, we we do hear you loud and clear. Appreciate you being here. Hi, my name is Sue Robinson, and I am on the other end of the Sunset Block. I had um, Sunset and Cosset, and my husband Frank spoke with Brian, who has been very responsive, so thank you for that. Um, my concern is as well, in the past few years, it has been getting worse for us. I don't have the lake effect that the Wicklanders have at the other end of the corner. I'm getting the sewage. I get it up through my drain. I have a sump pump in my basement. Um, we've done all the work that we needed. We've replaced pipes in our basement. 
and my sump pump area is fine. It doesn't overflow. It does what it's supposed to be doing. It pumps all the water out. What I get is city, city sewage up through my drains every time, and it's been getting worse in the last three years. We've lived in a home for 16 years, over 16 years, and never have had this problem other than the last few years. We got hit hard in June. We got hit hard last, this last weekend. We are also looking at an overhead sewer system, and, and I, I'd like to reinforce what Mr. Bogart um, <clears throat> presented. I would like to see the village help us with that cost. It's an, ex an extremely expensive undertaking, um, and for, in my opinion, it's partly responsible, but part of the responsibility of the village, not just the homeowners, because it is just the city sewer drains that are backing up. We have no problem with seepage or anything else in our basement. Thanks. Appreciate your contribution. Hello, Tom. Um, excuse me. I am Philip Fulton. I live at 49 Pablo Place. I want to let you all know um, we've been having floods. We have a lake. If you don't know, it's called Lake Poplar also. Um, it's not just this last rain. This last rain is particularly bad, the whole street. And I know Brian's aware of it. I just want to be here to start letting you all know that it's a major problem. Um, Tom, your um, civil engineer was there. I loved it that he showed up on, in the morning to see what the flood and the lake and everything that was going on is about. It's not only our street, it's the street of the Jason there. Um, several people got their homes flooded. Um, something's changed, but we've had Lake, lake Poplar for the last eight years, nine years. So I guess my, my point here is just to make sure that Poplar is probably as bad as what you talk about down south. We have it there too, and we want to make sure we're on the radar screen. Good. Thank you. Thanks.